I'm Joey Pickavance with joeypickavance.com. I'm going to talk to you about our basic green side splash shot. And uh, this is a fearful shot for some players. I know I've, I've been in a situation and a time in my career where I really struggled out of the bunkers. And it, it's really, it's a lack of confidence and probably an avoidance of getting in and working out the technique. Um, but here's some things that help me to become a better bunker player. One of the things we need to do is draw a line in the sand with no golf ball. Okay, now the line represents where the golf ball is. And what we want to do is get consistent in entering the sand with the golf club about two to three inches behind the ball. Okay, now it doesn't have to be right on that grain of sand, anywhere in the two to three inches. Okay, so that, that kind of takes off some pressure. But I think setting up to a bunker shot is important. I have a 54 degree sand wedge, and there's a lots of your, your, your wedges that you can use. Just make sure the bounce configuration and the loft are congruent with the type of sand and environment that you regularly play on at your home course. So we're going to open that club face, then I take my natural grip. Okay, so I don't take a, a regular grip with a square club face and then rotate my hands. I prefer not to do that. I like to set the club a little open, then I take my grip. Now again, aiming at the line, I'm going to take a little wider base, sit down just a little bit, and play. And start with the line right in the center of my stance. As I take my strokes, I want to make sure that that divot or that club enters the sand about three inches behind the ball. So. Once I get that regularly happening on the line, then and only then do I go to a golf ball. I tell students, if you can't hit a hinge chip shot, you have no business even trying a bunker shot, right? We've got to get precise in where we're contacting that sand. So once I get that going, then I'm ready to do that with a golf ball. Again, I like to choke down a little bit with an open club face. Take my natural grip with an open club face. I like to start with the ball in the center, I dig in a little bit for stabilization. Weight and knees kind of press to the left, not head to the left. I like my shaft still in a slightly forward lean. Okay, I know there's a lot of techniques to talk about this. I, I, I mean, there's very few students that can even comprehend that, you know, fr from a shot making ability, let alone some of the top professionals on tour struggle. But there are a few that do that technique. So we're going to take our, our base, dig it in, get the, the, the the face of the club slightly open, weight slightly left. I'm going to hinge and splash through the shot. Now I always feel the back of that club entering the sand two to three inches behind the ball. Okay. The key thing for me is making sure that my body rotates through to support the action of the arms, hands, and club. It's not a stab at the ball. It's not a flip of the wrist. None of that business will help you. It's actually only going to hurt you. I like to practice my bunker shots also on a nice firm pack lie. So grip it down. Open the face. Dig in to get your base. Press to the left. Hinge it. Splash through the shot. It was nice of my cameraman Eric to have us doing this practice shot into the wind so I can taste the sand.